if we take a scale of it, it's uh, really uh, global. So all countries are represented here, and the issues that are uh, touched here are very important for us, uh, for just regular people here. The Wicket is an international symposium which should, should happen a long time ago, especially after the uh, changes in the telecommunication uh, sector for the last 24 years. Uh, it's important that within 24 years many things have changed around the world, especially about communication. And suddenly internet came and nowadays when everyone talks about communication, we talk about internet. And that's where the whole debate is about. Eh, yo entiendo que el reglamento, este reglamento tal como está, está totalmente obsoleto. Con lo cual, si queremos remozarlo, hay que cambiarlo, pero hay que cambiarlo enteramente. Lo que ocurre es que hay algunos mm, puntos que son muy difíciles de atacar. Por ejemplo, eh, todo lo que es referido a Internet. Eh, a mi juicio, Internet no se puede incluir en ningún tipo de reglamento y menos en un reglamento de telecomunicaciones internacionales. Uh, so far, I would say so good because, I mean, to reach an agreement and to reach a consensus, there has to be discussion, and so far, the discussions have been constructive. So um, it's a good opinion. I think it's moving slowly, but uh, in the right direction. Well, I think it's going as expected. Uh, countries are putting their positions on the table. Um, we're seeing a lot of divergence of views, but I think we're still hopeful that uh, the community can come together around a, a common perspective. So far, uh, I think it's good, and uh, I think we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, outcome, uh, outcomes, and uh, I expect that uh, if we continue uh, like this, we will uh, we'll end with uh, getting uh, uh, a good draft, uh, a good uh, treaty. I hope there will be uh, some positive uh, solutions of uh, all the very uh, Question, uh, of that questions, problems uh, that we are facing in 21st century, and it will be the, the decision which uh, will suit for everyone, for every country. Well, uh, I'll go back to the first two um, speech. The first one from the ITU General Secretary himself, talking about uh, open space, talking about uh, cooperation between ICANN, the Internet Corporate for Assigned Names and Number entity and ITU. So uh, based on that, I think it's a place where the whole debate is open and transparency, of course, on my point of view, is on the agenda. It is not what's been said in the media around the world that is, that is, uh, it is for the government to, uh, to, uh, to make the freedom of speech low and all these issues. That's not true. The, the, the really truth is 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 the is the uh, make the international telecommunication well organized, well established, rather than to become an, an, an just uh, uh, country uh, holding something and the other country is sending spam to the other country and using the other resources, which is which is not good for what's happening now. I think that. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, the outcome will be uh, absolutely beneficiary for, for every one of us and hopefully uh, uh, suitable for all the requirements that we have in our world today. Well, we're hopeful that this is a conference that's going to promote uh, global connectivity of international telecommunications networks and that they'll focus on things that have worked in the field of international telecommunications, things like competition, transparency, private sector investment. So we're hopeful that that's the direction that the conference will go. I think it's it's still early, so we're not sure, but um, that's the position that we've come to here um, to advocate. Pues de la reunión vamos a ser optimistas y espero que acabe con un reglamento flexible y como ya se viene diciendo en un reglamento internacional que es un tratado se pueda pueda ser aplicable en todos los países, porque si no es así eh, no no tendremos ningún éxito.